everybody. This is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. I'm coming on with a new box, which I'm trying to open up right now for all you. This is from somewhere in California. I'm not positive exactly what is in here. They usually have a theme. Oh, good grief. Oh. There we go. Oh. I know we won't make this in one video. Uh, we'll see what we can do. How we get there. I hope you're all having a great day. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you see something you like, let me know. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, let's see what we have. What surprises were in store for... Okay. And let's hope we don't run into a whole bunch of tangles. We can only hope, right? Got a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna try to figure out what the theme of this is. Okay. All right, this is very pretty. And uh, I'm not sure what this is made out of. Probably could be plastic. Let me see if I see. I don't know if it's plastic, but it's carved. And this is a weave and a bunch of flowers. This is very pretty. It's also very long. Let me get my ruler out here. I don't know. This here is probably... I don't know, 30 inches maybe? Let me give you a close-up. There's the pendant. And the beads. Let me show you the back of the pendant. Give you some light too. It's going to be difficult. There we go. Okay, so we have that. Very nice. Can't put it there because I won't be able to do anything. This is just a costume pair um, of beads, green beads. Not anything fancy, but the plastic beads are, are nice. They're not just plain. They got some white and swirling through them. Okay, let me throw these in the box down here. Alright, let's grab something else out of this baggie. Alright, this looks like malachite. And it's, it is a necklace that is graduated. So the beads are bigger down at the bottom and there's a bead in between each of them 
Now they could be just a stone, but they have the appearance of malachite. And they're kind of got a facet, faceting to them also. Give me a close-up. You tell me what you think. They're kind of pretty. They're very heavy. Very, very, very heavy. Okay, we have those. Uh, oh, we have a collar here. Somebody made a collar. Uh -oh. This is very old. And there's a hook and eye closure in the front of it. This is very pretty. Um, it has pearls. There's rhinestones, uh, smaller pearls. Show you how it goes around. This you would put on. It's very, very pretty. It's ivory color. And it's done on some kind of a silk fabric. Um, <clears throat> I would say, given the hook and eye on here, I bet you this was made maybe in the 50s or the 60s. It's very pretty. Let me show you the back. It does have, um, it was made in Japan, so it's old. <coughs> it does have a little bit of where you can see, but not bad for the age. Let me give you a close-up of the work in it. This is a gorgeous piece. Really beautiful. Okay, that'd be comfortable to wear also. It's got that nice smooth stuff at the end there. I think we're gonna have some tangles. So we'll just do the best that we possibly can with all this. Uh, all right, let me see how this is hooked together here. Hmm. Oh, wow. All right. This is some oriental beads, little porcelain beads. <coughs> um... Some of them look like they have lotus flowers on them, and some just have flowers, or maybe they're all the same, but the lotus is on one side. Now this little silver bead that's here, which is odd, has a clasp that you just push here, and it comes apart. <clears throat> I've never seen one done inside of a bead before. This is very nice. Okay, there's the bead. There's the closure that snaps into it. And you can see how beautiful these beads are. All right, Thank you. moving on. What do we have here? I don't know. Like, okay, I got this out. All right. This is just a, uh, it does have a clasp. Um, let me get um, Bianca, not Bianca. All right. <clears throat> These look like maybe little pieces of acrylic. Or they're sort of cool, so they could be stone. It's got a spring ring clasp, and it's fairly long. So we have that. That's kind of pretty. I'll put that in the box. All right, let's see what I got here. 
If I can get things apart here, we might have some luck. Put that back together. All right, I have a pretty necklace. Uh, I don't know how exactly this goes, but it is very pretty. <coughs> Okay, this has got to go over this one. <clears throat> All right, so we have these stations. I'm looking to see if I see anything missing. I don't. Here is your clasp right here. It's one of those um, lifesaver type clasps. It has a nice long extender with a bead at the end of it. Um, let me see if there's any more stations on this. Oh yeah, there's more up here. More here, everything looks intact. And there's little things hanging down. This is pretty old. Let me see if I can see anything on this, and it's long. There is some wear. But I don't think it's bad considering what it is. Put it in my hand. You take a close look at it. Everything is really pretty. But, you know, like I said, when you get something that's really old, you do get a little wear, but there is no, um, nothing missing. So that's a pop plus. Very pretty. All right, let's see what else we have here. I got a watch. I'm going to put that to the side. That's interesting, though. This is by Darcy. Okay. Let's see what we have here. All right, we have a really nice, um, let me see the name on this. <coughs> it's a nice chain. I'm working on it. There is a name. Trafari. <coughs> You can tell I still have some of my sinus infection. All right, I will measure this for you. This is very well put together. This has the, um, it's got the black going through it. Beautiful finishing on these. There's a Trafari tag, a spring ring clasp. I'll give you a measurement on it. It's an excellent shape. This is 24 inches. <coughs> no plating loss. Look at how beautiful that finishing is on there. Okay. All right, we have one of these wrap bracelets here. I think I can get this out. It's got, let's see, it's got a name on it. And uh, this one's done with pearls. <coughs> this is Victoria's Secret. This is a large, large wrap bracelet. This will go around your wrist many times. And it's leather. It's like in perfect condition. Um, really done well. Give you a close up in my hand.
It's very pretty. There's the button with the Victoria's Secret on it. Okay, I'm not seeing a theme here yet. What do we have here? There's another wrap bracelet, but I'm trying to see what this is. There's some really pretty things here. Ooh. We're going to have to put this to the side. Let me see what I have here. <coughs> oh my goodness gracious. I hate tangles. Wow. Let me put that to the side. Really nice glass beads there. I think it's going to be a lariat. This is a nice set of beads. And I'm pretty sure these are, I believe these are Monet, I think. Yes, they are. So you can always tell with that little funky clasp that they make. These are very long. These are, I think they're black. And they have the gold beads in between. These are very long. There's the Monet tag. There's that funky little clasp. <clears throat> and give you a quick peek on Bertha so you can get an idea of what they look like. I'm sorry I don't have a lot of room here, but those are pretty. All right, let's see what we have here that I can get out. This is going to be tough, but I'm sure I can get enough out for this video. And we have a pair, of, excuse me, not a pair, we have a puka shell choker. It's been polished. These are very shiny. They're almost like a he-she bead. Very nice. We have fashion jewelry sets. I gotta try to get some of this stuff out of here. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, I think we have another kind of collar. But this is not the same as that last one. This has got a box clasp on it. All right, very lightweight pearls. <clears throat> this is very pretty also. And it's on it's on a string. Somebody spent a lot of time. Here's your box clasp back here. Um, regardless, it's old and it's in good condition. Whoever gets this has to take care of it because it's very delicate and very dainty, but very pretty. <coughs> There you go, there's the box clasp. Those are all the faux pearls. Very pretty. Okay, this out of the way. Hopefully we can find something that'll come out. Well, this is a nice pair, a nice set of beads. These are, I'm not sure what these are made out of, but they're nice. They need a little wiping down. These are beautiful. These are over your head. There's no clasp. They're graduated. I'm getting there. There you go. So if I look at these closely, um, 
I just need a wiping down. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. These could be bone because there is some variations in the color and so forth. These are beautiful. So I'll give them a good wiping down. Give you a close up. <coughs> These are beautiful. See what I mean? They need to be wiped down a little bit. Which I will do. Okay, put those over here so I clean them as soon as I'm done with this video. Uh, we have a, I guess, what do you call this? Neon yellow? stretch bracelet and I think we have a neon pink one to match it okay and I'll put those over here in case we get another neon of some sort wow <clears throat> another watch what is this This one is a citizen, so I will have to check it out, but it's very pretty. Citizen's a good watch. Put that over there. We got a lot of stuff in this bag. Wow. This here has got too much wear. So we'll take that and send that to the thrift. This is different. This is like lightning bolts with all rhinestones. I'll look at the back and see if I can see anything. Well, there is a very long extender. So you could wear this. Let me see here. Let me take it off. I don't see no name on this. This is very pretty. Here it is again, it's a little rhinestone bling, and here's how long your extender is, so you have a big option of how far you want this to hang down. You could probably make it a choker if you're wearing something with a V. All right, very pretty. I'm going to put that over here. I don't want that to get any damage to it. Let's see what we have here. This is Candies. It's a long gold chain with an extender. And then it has um, a pearl pendant on it. Nothing fancy. Got a few rhinestones in it with a long gold chain. <clears throat> Another watch. What is this one? This one's a Casio. This one's got a pretty face, a lot of color condition is excellent. Okay, we'll put that over here. These are nice pearls here. Oh. See if I can get this out. Oh, these have you know the slide and you slide it out and then you push it in type of clasp. These are more than likely glass, but they're very pretty. <coughs> they're not round. They're more in the shape of a potato pearl. And you know something? They're all different shapes. 
So, I'm not going to tell you that they're real. And I'm not going to tell you that they're glass, but they're, they're pretty. There's the glass right there that's on it. And they're knotted, as far as I can see. Okay, show you a close-up of them. Very pretty. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. If I can just get a couple more pieces out of here. Oh, these are beautiful earrings. I hope I have the other one of this. Well, it's a pendant. Okay. This is a piece of shell that somebody took and wire wrapped and did a really beautiful job of it. Here's the back. And it's on this gunmetal snake chain with probably a two inch extender. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Let me give you a close up of this. This is very pretty. It leans more to the purple side. There we go. Very nice. All right, so this here is just a blue seed bead necklace with uh, stations of white. And it has um, the white up here near the barrel screw clasp. Very pretty seed beads. Here's your clasp. All right, what else can I grab here? Got another watch. What is this one? Let me see, this one's really pretty. Figaro Couture. Very, very, very pretty. It's more like a bracelet watch. Okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, we have this now. Let me see what this is, how this goes. This is a very pretty necklace, if you like steel gray and silver. Well, glass. Gorgeous. Gorgeous beads. Nice chain. Long extender. Let me show it to you. Here's your lobster claw, there's your extender with the bead. These are all gray beads. Now down here in the front, there's three small beads, which would be what you would just consider your middle of your necklace. And there have like a silver coating over them. These have more of an AB finish on them, but not real crazy AB. I'll give you a close-up. Very pretty necklace. See the difference in the beads there? Okay, we're going to do one more because we're nearing 30 minutes. And then we're going to stop. See if I can find something here that's easy. Wow. All right, what is this? Nope. We'll have to ta untangle some of this when um, 
we get get done with this video so I have some ready for the next video okay this is very pretty um, I don't see a name on it it has a big pendant with a tassel on it and it's got a um, lobster claw with a bead it's silver tone this is a matte finish and I think it's could be acrylic it's got a great tassel on it um, it's really pretty and this is a rope chain beautiful rope chain so let me give you a close-up this is all rhinestones going around this pendant and it's very long very long rope chain all right let's put this to the side I'll give you a close-up and then we're done for this video I don't like to make them too long like I said it gives me a headache trying to get them uploaded all right there's your pendant it's kind of cloudy it's a matte finish it's not shiny 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 and here's your tassel that hangs off of it condition of this is impeccable very nice okay that was good and uh, I hope you enjoyed that it's very difficult going through a bag when you just open it blind and you don't know if you're going to have a bunch of tangles, if you're going to have a bunch of garbage, you know, you don't know. So uh, I appreciate you bearing with me and going on the journey together. As you can see, without even looking at this, look inside of this bag here. It's got a lot of stuff in there still. So hopefully we'll find some goodies. All right, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want to be informed when I upload the next video. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll be in touch with you soon. Take care of yourself. Stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye, everybody.